visiting the Getty Center in Los Angeles. It was opened to public in 1997 and is famous for its architecture, gardens and views overlooking Los Angeles. When I travel, I feel excited about everything. Even a short ride on the tram that took me from the parking lot to the main entrance at Getty Center. Originally, the Getty Museum started in Jean-Paul Getty's house and later extended into a center that includes conservation and research institute, foundation and the museum. In 1984, a Richard Meyer was chosen to be the architect and the center ultimately opened to the public on December 16, 1997. Nowadays, Getty Museum has over 1.8 million visitors annually, which makes it one of the most visited museums in the United States. As a photographer, I followed my professional instincts and, first of all, visited a photography hall where, at that moment, there was an exhibition called Teen Photographers Respond. Getty's museum collection contains more than 120,000 separate objects and is distributed in different sections. It includes paintings, drawings, illuminated manuscripts, sculptures, and decorative arts. The paintings collection has over 400 notable European paintings created before 19th century. Among the best-known works are paintings by Pontormo, Rembrandt, Turner, Monet, and Van Gogh. The open spaces in the Getty Museum are something admirable. For me, art is an expression of freedom. And at the Getty Center, architecture and landscaping are perfectly aligned to express that feeling of freedom. So, and this is the South Pavilion in the Getty Center, where you can see an amazing view of Los Angeles. The Cactus Garden in the Getty Museum shows a variety of cacti, succulents and other plants from a desert terrain. The permanent collection in the Getty Museum is displayed throughout the four pavilions chronologically. The North House is the oldest art, while the West House is the newest. of sculpture and decorative arts in the Getty Museum has over 1700 objects dating from 12th to 20th century. The architect Richard Meyer chose to feature travertine stone in his design due to its historical association with public architecture, its color and consistency. The fountains add refreshing vibes to every space, and Getty Center is not exception. The 
the inner courtyard of the Getty Museum features a central fountain. There are four gardens in the Getty Center, one at street level, the rest at the top of the hill, and an outdoor sculpture terrace. Located in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains, the Getty Center's 86 acres of landscaped gardens and terraces include the Central Garden, designed by California artist Robert Irwin. Since the Getty Center opened in 1997, the Central Garden has evolved and its plants have grown. I think Central Garden is a piece of art. I would gladly spend there a couple of hours sitting somewhere in a shade of a tree and reading a novel, while occasionally admiring flowers. I know it might sound a little idealistic, but it feels like a beautiful place to relax and enjoy a slow pace of life.